really careful. I'll be as careful as I could possibly be in a fucking daisy car scenario. Keep your eye out though for a gas station. So, you think you want to drive a car in Daisy? You think you got what it takes? Well, let me tell you, you don't. In fact, no one does. But I'm going to do my best to show you little tricks and tips I've picked up to try and get you from one place to another in one piece when you use a car in Daisy. So stick around and pay close attention because I'll be handing out those pro tips. Be in a fucking daisy car scenario. Keep your eye out though for a gas station. If you see, where's that one that you punched? That was in a. So bad. Why is it making that noise now? And that is tip one. It means that even though it's hard to keep up. a speed up when you know your game's gonna crash, if it starts making noise, it's because you need to shift up. I try to keep it. In first to second gear, as you'll see here, number one. Now it's gonna fucking break. No, what? what? When I got up into fourth gear going really fast, it's just frozen stuttered. So the method I've picked up to help prevent yourself from dying when it freezes out like that is as soon as it freezes, start furiously tapping the brake. And as soon as you get a hint that it's coming back, start holding it as you're pulling it until it comes back and you're holding the brake. You'll see how many times that method actually saves my life in this. Now, obviously, even when you're going zero miles an hour, you'll see it will throw you. There's times it'll throw you, but you will see that my life is saved several times by the tapping the brake method. This was just me slamming on the brakes. There is a guard tower over there. Go check it. They might have... Oh, I'm sorry. I also, tip off. number two. Turn off the car for your friends. If the car's on, it does damage to anyone who touches back, it. Before you get in, check the tires and stuff on the car. I know where there's a gas station along the uh, river. Now, I have found that the most common places for the stuttering and freezing is before towns and after towns. And when zombies are in higher numbers than like seven or so. I think it's going to be more adventurous than It's guaranteed that it's going to happen when you're going into a city or a place where things need to load a lot or out of. I just don't like stressing. Oh, oh, oh. It's a giant block on the road? Nope. Wow. That one was me. I just didn't see the roadblocks that time. And... It doesn't matter if you're going 20 miles an hour. Okay, look at the towns. Do we want to go to Glenenska? To go south? If you're going 0 miles an hour or 100 miles an hour. When it freezes, it's going to throw your car a little bit. It seems to freeze your car on whatever you're doing. So if you're holding the gas and flying down the highway, it's going to freeze on you holding the gas and then just make you hold the gas the whole time it's frozen. Uh, there's several times that while it's frozen for me, my son can see me driving. No, no. Like here. But I crash us into a tree. Maybe that was just me. It was in second gear. That was not second gear. Yeah, it was. I was just going fast. Oh, we're glitching out. I'm frozen. I'm hitting the brakes and holding it. Dad. I, I'm frozen, dude. I might have just blue screened. What's the car doing? You're currently about to crash into a wall. I'm holding the brakes, dude. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, it threw us. We're okay. No, we're okay. Get out. If you're getting out, get out, but we're okay. Everything's okay. Yeah, come on. It's not smoking or anything. We got lucky. You could be zombie, oh, zombie. Hey. hey. As you see, it will just throw you into anything. 
Oh. Or through anything. I'm trying to hit the brake to drive. I that forgot. zombie doesn't have thumbs. Why don't they have thumbs? Realize, zombies don't have thumbs. Do we fucking try to loot here or what? Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is up with that car? Dude, that's a car we can drive to. It got thrown as well. I don't know what that's about, but it looks like it affects all the cars when it does that, apparently. One place that we're gonna build a base. Well, that's the next stop. We're gonna go. I know along the river there's at least one gas station. Oh, it's frozen again. Oh! Oh, save you again. Oh god, here we go. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. Now you're driving us into trees. I'm not driving. I'm frozen. And we're about to hit a tree. Oh, what's up? What's up? I've got the skills, dude. I've learned. And so far. Pretty well. Is that a gas station? Yeah, yep. There's crap here that we don't want to hit. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out... Uh, go to the right? Do I want to go down this road? To the right here. Yeah, go to the right. I feel like I want to go down that road. Like, driving is impossible as it is. Okay, here's train tracks. We're going. Oh, here we go. I froze. Okay. Let's not be like the guys on our right. Right? Is it like. What is going on here? Roswell, if you're talking, I can't hear you at all. <clears throat> Find if you're if you know you're driving into an area that's going to be a problem. If you just kind of stop okay, and spend it? a few minutes letting it load, uh, it usually doesn't stutter as much. But it's not a guarantee. Or will this help? Again, it doesn't matter what speed you're going, when it freezes, it will throw you, even if you're going zero miles an hour. Okay. I say get out, search this house, and start working your way down this street. How's your food? Huh? Oh shit. Yeah, well. We're crashing. We're Once again, saved by slamming that brake and just holding on when it came back a little bit. <laughs> hey, Dad? Wolves, wolves, wolves. You heard them? They're everywhere, dude. There's a bunch. Oh, you're those two. Is that our trunk? No, bro, that's tough. Uh -oh. No, I can't tell. Right forward. This whole trip is the life of one car, and we've been looking for a trunk for this car this entire trip. Right forward. That is not our trunk. 
Dang it, bro. Y'all turn the car off. Jesus, a bunch. Are you shaking? I'm shaking. And that's a clip for another video, guys. I shot that wolf, the one that I was trying to shoot. I swear to God, I shot him in the head. He didn't die. Yeah, but if it's the mark, the worst gun in the game. Oh shit. What? I was breaking, and then it like just froze. Um, we it's might... stop. Stop. The car's not moving. It's just slowly going back. We're frozen on my screen. Oh, well. Well, the car literally just stopped. And every time you click that, it made the car go backwards. So, uh... Dude, my game is frozen. What is the car doing right now? Nothing, it's just standing still. Oh, oh. There you go, you're turning. You're looking? I have control again. As you can see there, I got really lucky. Sometimes it catches when you're braking or not moving, and it doesn't throw you. It just freezes you with your breakdown. I got lucky there. Here I missed the recording of the actual throwing me off of the road, uh, but I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of showcase how when you're off the uh, road, it's a little difficult to get up sometimes, and you can't get up the hills, but if you take a shallow angle and kind of rock left to right as you're going, typically you can find your way back to the road. It's got no water, it's a gunter, and it's ready to roll. Every car we've found has been just needing water and gas. Well, I've just found another car though. This one will be mine. <laughs> nice. I'm about to crash, I think, this time. I'm frozen. We found a jerry can right next to it in the garage as well. Yeah. That's cool. Got really lucky again because I was going slow, it didn't throw me, and I was able to catch it before it froze. Oh, it is getting dark. Man, you gotta treat your cars with care, bro. I'm sorry! Toplin. I'm entering Toplin at the north. Oh shit. Oh shit. I froze. Good thing I was like going slow. Hopefully it doesn't throw me. Wolves again, dude. I'm getting attacked by wolves in the car. Once again, millimeters. Millimeters from wrecking the car. <laughs> See, 
See, I got six wolves on me. Keep going. Killed one of them. Pro tip number three. If you're going to fight wolves, bring a car. They know, they know about what I've done. I don't think I went the right way. I don't, I didn't go over the, I don't remember going over the bridge. Now I'm already at another side. Like I said before, the number of zombies seems to also affect it. As you saw, it just gave me a, a bunch of little stutters and it threw me a little bit, as opposed to launching me. So I think this one was more zombie related. Somehow I missed all of that shit. Oh my god. Yeah, so explain that one to me. I don't know. Super lucky. I was barely going, you know, any miles per hour or kilometers, whatever. And it threw me. You saw how far that was. Half a football field. So here I stopped and decided to see if it would make a difference if I just let it load for a few minutes or seconds. Oh no, wait, I froze again while I was stopped. Again, got lucky on that one. I'm waiting for it to load a little bit so it doesn't freeze and throw me across the fucking town. If I can't do this, I just do this. I'm checking my boots. Mmm! You're right. Look how fucking close I got. Once again, the method has saved my life. Very lucky. Really? That close. That close. How? So the bottom line is driving in Daisy, you'd rather take on a bear naked bottle of water then attempt to really use cars as a means of transportation in this game however if you're watching this and you're still playing DayZ we both know that that's not why you're playing and that you're gonna take all the bugs that they throw at us because for some reason we're some kind of sadomasochists who love playing a game full of bugs that we know shouldn't be there but here we are so Let's wrap it up. If you're gonna drive, the best option is to keep it in first gear, pump the gas, and just drive slow, keeping your finger off the gas, and being ready to pump those brakes. Uh, if you're gonna go ahead and drive, there's another method. Some people talk about driving in reverse. Uh, that's annoying. It works, it's annoying. 
you could also you can also you know when it freezes and hiccups like that if you didn't crash then you can speed up for a couple seconds as long as you want uh, or I mean as fast as you want for a couple of seconds and uh, that seems to work but again the, the freezes are so random and the speed you're going doesn't seem to matter so the best advice is do it carefully take it slow anything's better than walking and using up stamina food and energy so be careful out there if you're gonna get behind the wheel be ready thanks for watching guys and uh, bye